Welcome to the Global Goal Studio. I'm Richard Wolf here with Chika Odua. Our guest today is Carly Kloss, the founder of Code with Klossy, a computing coding, computer coding nonprofit for girls, and of course, also a supermodel. Carly, education is so key to overcoming many of the world's most pressing problems, poverty, gender, inequality, just to name a few. Your group, Code with Classy, teaches girls to code. So maybe we can start with why you chose coding and in particular, why you're focusing on girls. Sure. So Richard, I didn't have the opportunity to learn how to code when I was in school. I went to a great public school, but computer science classes weren't offered. And it wasn't until I was an adult and living in New York City and meeting all these entrepreneurs who were building big businesses and solving and, and tackling some of the world's biggest problems using this kind of language and being able to scale it using code. And I really wanted to understand what that was and also understand why more young women didn't have access to those opportunities. And you know, for, for me, it's been an eye-opening experience, uh, not only to learn these skills myself, but to really recognize you know, how powerful you know, they can be when you put them in the hands of young women to kind of tackle the things that they're thinking about and right. solve kind of the the problems that they're experiencing in their in their lives and you know another thing that i really experienced uh when learning how to code was kind of realizing the gender gap that exists and uh you know it's 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 changing but it starts with education and creating opportunities for young women to have access to these skills great carly i really appreciate how you talk about coding as being an eye-opening experience for you and as we all know, the pandemic has proven to be the ultimate dis disruptor, especially on the educational sector. Carly, how can coding and computer science help build back an education system that is more versatile, more inclusive, and more accessible than before to everyone? Absolutely. So we've experienced this past summer with Code of Classy with our camps. By going virtual, we were actually able to eliminate a lot of barriers that existed and able to reach 50% more scholars than we had prior planned, you know, and we were able to have 2000 young women from 44 states across the country and 20 countries around the world be a part of our classrooms and have access to the, the learning and, and be a part of our community. But, you know, it's a, a bit of a double edged sword. You know, we're, we're living in this kind of moment in the pandemic, and I have so much gratitude for the parents and teachers who are enabling kind of the virtual learning to, uh, to to happen. But, you know, there's a real concern with the kind of digital divide. It's something I think about a lot of just kind of the, the lack of access to broadband or equipment and how drastically that is impacting many, many students across the country. Uh, back in the spring, we had, you know, of the 55 million students who were uh, sent home to do remote learning when school shut down, 12 million of them didn't have access to equipment or broadband. And that has tremendous ripple effect in in so many ways. And, you know, it, you know, it certainly uh, it is just something I'm thinking a lot about. So I think the technology both can be a real uh, powerful tool to scale access, but also we have to make sure we're providing that access for all. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Carly, with all the brilliant young women who are coming through your Code with Classy camps, do you have any interesting insight into what they're thinking about, what problems they want to tackle with the apps and websites they're building? Does that tell you anything about how they see the world and its challenges? Oh my gosh, Richard, I am constantly blown away by these young women. They are so brilliant, they're so passionate, and they're so aware of the power that they hold as young women. I mean, the young women are in our community are from 13 years old to 23. Many of them can't vote, but that doesn't mean they're not thinking about how they can actively participate in our, our country and the problems that they're that they're thinking about, whether it's sustainability or gender equality or climate change, you know, they're thinking about a lot of the same issues that the UN's sustainable development goals are focused on. And, you know, to me, it's just I'm so inspired by by them and optimistic for our future because I know that they will be the leaders and change makers of tomorrow. Carly Klaus, thank you for what you're doing, inspiring the next generation of young women to to be great coders, and thank you for joining us here at the Global Goal Studio today. We'll be right back. You're watching the Global Goal Studio. Thank you. <laughs>